Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. My name is Jenny and today I feel a little under the weather Like I think I have a sinus infection because it's just like my nose that hurts It's not even like I have a sore throat or anything But anyway, I wanted to chit chat with you guys a few things have been changing in my life um, It's a new year. I haven't talked to you guys since I think last year I think I uploaded right before New Year's and New Year's was so much fun so much fun i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in um so how was your guys this new year's i had so much fun i went to tao and to brentwood um wait what the heck and then to brentwood and it was just a lot of fun um a lot of great people good vibes and everything and it was just such a good time like i had so much fun so anyway um, I did that and then at Brentwood I posted some photos. I also posted photos from Tao and it was just I don't know I feel like it was just like exactly what I needed like I just needed to refresh and reset and just be with like my loved ones and like friends and like friends that are basically family so it was just a really really good time um, I'm trying to see what I have like I have like contact dermatitis under my eye and I don't know how I got it but I get like dermatitis here and there so I just like came out of nowhere i also cleaned my earrings so they're super sparkly honestly like i just feel like complete poop <laughs> right now but yeah that was so much fun i got a few questions about like where my dress was from my dress was from pretty little thing but i got it like maybe three years ago i got it for the opening of the highlight room so that was like maybe three years ago i feel like i'm about to sneeze like that's like what having a sinus infection basically is it's like you feel like you have to sneeze every two seconds. Um, my hair is kind of annoying me, so I'm gonna get something to tie it really quick. So yeah, what else is exciting? Um, I am getting a car. I figured it was about time. I'm just really excited. I wanted to start off this new year like feeling refreshed and reset and I wanted like some new changes. So I did decide to get a car. I just feel like this is like the change that I needed. Um, I feel like I'll definitely have a lot more freedom. I won't have to deal with drivers and like them harassing me and asking me questions and stuff it's just like the most annoying thing ever so i'm just like so happy i have been looking at a few cars i think right now i'm debating between a prius or a corolla those are like the two top options i also did look at like honda civics but i didn't really i don't know like a lot of my friends have hondas a lot of asians have hondas um but i don't know i, I really like corollas like asians have corollas too but they're like the two basic basic brands that I thought that I would go for. I really like the RAV. My brothers love the RAV, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's a little bit too big for me. Um, but yeah, I just want like a small, compact, reliable car and I'm very, very happy about this decision that I made. And definitely something that was long overdue, um, but you know me, I like to do everything last minute. So yeah, I think I just kind of like, I don't know, I woke up one day and I was like, enough is enough. I need a car. So I'm just gonna do my forehead as well. I'm trying not to let the ISO like go crazy because it gets really bright and then it gets really dark. So I don't know why it's doing that. Let me see if I close. So then after that, I like to use my Fenty foundation. So I'm just gonna do a pump. I only use one pump on the back of my compact and just spread it out. And then I'm just gonna like dab it all over. And then I just take an elf sponge and I'm just gonna blend everything together so I don't know why it took me so long to decide like before I was just like okay I could rely on drivers blah 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 whatever but where I live it's actually really hard to get a driver because it's kind of like in the middle of like Santa Monica and Malibu so it's just really hard for drivers to like come out here it'll take like 20 minutes so after being late to work so many times I just decided like forget it so I'm just gonna blend this out all of the foundation is gonna like rub off of my nose anyway so yeah i'm very excited about this decision and i don't know if i want to bring you guys car shopping with me i'm literally just gonna get like not like a luxury car because i know what i can um i know what i can afford and i do want to like finance and buy this car and i do want to put a pretty large chunk down because i don't want like huge payments and yeah that's just my decision so next topic um i got a new camera look you guys is this not like the cutest little thing ever hold on that's so funny and that's like the little camera there and it films in 10 um in 1080 and in 4k like look at that it's just like so cool like i love the setting of it and it stabilizes itself and it's just like really cool so i'm really excited to vlog with this i think when i actually like go and 
get my car and everything i think i would definitely will vlog it i do want to buy a car just because i feel like i feel like because these cars are so reliable i think it's something that i can have for a while and i'm not someone that is like into like brand name cars like yeah it would be nice but i act my wage okay so i know what i can afford and i know what is gonna work out for me really excited about this um and like i said before like even if i can or can't afford a luxury car i just think that like i could lease a luxury car like it doesn't matter but it would be stupid to buy a luxury car just because it's not ideal but for like these standard cars i just feel like it's a much better it's a much better deal and it's just worth it so i think anyone can lease a luxury car like no big deal because they're just so cheap to lease but yeah okay so i'm gonna blend out my concealer my nose is so runny I don't know what else to say, I'm just really excited. So you guys will see car vlogs! I know so many of you guys miss out and so many of you guys have been following me since like the car vlogs and I'm so appreciative of that. Okay, and what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, vlogs. Okay, so I got the little camera to vlog but I tried vlogging in the past like two, three weeks and to be completely honest you guys like when I posted my Christmas vlogs and like the Christmas presents and stuff, I didn't- I was not in the mood to vlog then and I'm not in the mood to vlog now. I think I just kind of got fed up with just people like criticizing my life and being so invasive and you have a right to ask a question but if I don't answer the question then like maybe don't ask it again. Oh my god, I had a dream that my fillers came out from my teeth, like all of my fillings. Oh my god, it was like a nightmare. I just like kind of want to get off of the topic of like vlogs and stuff like when I post a vlog, I'll post it. Like, it's not something that I want to be pressured into doing, especially if I don't feel like vlogging. I just feel like I kind of want to take a day by day, see how I'm feeling, and if I want to vlog, then I'll vlog. But if I don't, then I won't, and that's okay too, and it's okay to not let you guys in my life. You know, I just didn't think that it was okay for me to just, like, go and, like, not talk about it because vlogs are such a huge part of my channel, and a lot of you guys really enjoy them. But yeah, I kind of just feel like, sorry for my sniffling, like, if it gets annoying, but yeah. So yeah, I just kind of feel like discouraged from vlogging but i definitely will bring them back like obviously when i get my car and everything car vlogs will be here and then i also want to do nail vlogs i'm just like i have so many ideas but let me get my car first but yeah so that's what's going on and i'm just like i don't know so i'm just like setting the center of my face like this i don't like too much powder i kind of just like the standard amount and then I just kind of push it into my skin just so it's absorbing the oils from the foundation. I don't have any problems or like any issues or anything with my foundation. So yeah, Christmas was pretty good. You guys saw my you guys saw my what I got for Christmas. That so was kind of like eh, whatever. Um, I don't really care too much for like what I got for Christmas videos, but they do very well. So <laughs> I thought I would just upload it because a lot of you guys wanted to see it as well. But yeah, I got like kind of upset because people were like, "Oh, you should see a therapist. Oh, you should see this." Like. If you watch any of my other videos, like, you know that I have a therapist, so, like, I, like, I don't understand. It's just, like, kind of annoying to get, like, unsolicited opinions, you know? I know it's, like, all a part of, like, doing YouTube or whatever, but sometimes it's just, like, kind of annoying. I'm gonna go in with the Becca powder. This is, like, my bronzer. I'm so excited. You guys can see I'm, like, almost done with it. So I'll be done with this by, like, March, I think. And then I'll go to my Estee Lauder bronzer. Because I do really love that one, but... I think I purchased this one again because I just like loved it so much but I definitely will be spending the least amount of makeup this year um, I do want to hit like my platinum for Ulta just because I love Ulta's reward system and when they do like the days of beauty you get free shipping on like the items so I really like that but I don't know I'm just like there's nothing that I really need anymore I feel like everyone's kind of content with their makeup collection and like they just want to finish everything they have Okay, I'm gonna go into my Kevin Aucoin palette and I'm just gonna take these two Just go right under my cheekbone and then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just like blend it because it's kind of a little bit messy So after doing that, I just like to go back in with my powder and then just like Go right under the contour. So yeah, like the days between Christmas and New Year's It was like whatever. It was just very relaxing for me and then new year's passed and now it's like back to work so it's just a lot it's just a lot going on right now and then especially car shopping i'm just kind of like being pressured by like salesmen here and there but i have an appointment i have an appointment tomorrow so i'm gonna go check that out and i just like i don't i know that i'm not gonna buy 
right then and there i'll bring like all my paperwork and everything but i know for sure i won't buy like right then and there i want to like just keep looking at another i want to look at two more dealerships and then maybe have them like bring the car from like the marina del rey location if i want to um if that's like the one that i want so i just like feel bad but i also need to think about myself and i need to think about you know the best deal that i can get for the car so so i'm just putting on some blush this is the note blush it's in the shade desert rose i love that song if you guys know i like a lot of blush because you can't really see it on camera and then in person it looks like you're just flushed that's like the only update that i really have for you guys nothing else has been really going on there's like we've gone to eat oh we went to yazawa the other day oh my god i love yazawa that's like one of my favorite places to go eat it's like japanese barbecue what is it we got like three different types of meat that were all like 50 over 50 dollars and it was like so yum like that place is amazing so definitely try it out if you guys come to beverly hills or just to la in general a lot of people will go for manpuku for like a cheap japanese like lunch or like a cheap a cheap japanese dinner um for like japanese barbecue but yazawa like takes the cake manpuku is good but it's not like the best like they have good quality meat but yazawa was just like on another level like the meat melted in your mouth it was just so like it was just amazing and then dinner for two on average is like 300 i think um and that's with tip so you'll be covered with tip so that's pretty much my makeup like nothing has really changed i'll do like contour my nose my my nose is so dry right now because of, i've been blowing it so many times i guess i'll show you guys my eyeshadow it's very simple i just kind of put a shade in here and then i take another like topper and i'll put that right on top I don't, I don't know if I showed you guys this look yet, but I got my lash extensions done, um, I think over the weekend, so it looks really good, and they look pretty full. This is kind of like the standard that I like them now, like I don't like them too fluffy, and a lot of people ask me if I'm going to go back to Felicia for lashes, and I think if I get, when I get my car, I probably will, just because I love how full and how long-lasting she leaves them. I can usually go like three weeks, but for these, I can only go like two weeks or like one and a half weeks. So it's also like, how much money do I want to invest in my lashes? And the reason why I stopped going to Felicia in the first place was just because of, it was just because of like having to get there. But now that I'm going to have a car, like, why not? Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to use this Natasha Denona topper. This is the Chroma Crystal Top Coat, and it comes like in the shade. It's like super bronzy. I'm just going to take my finger and then go right on top. I think I also want to get my brows microbladed or like, um, I don't know. I just like want to do something because I'm so tired of like not having a shape for my brows. So that's all that I do for my eyeshadow. I know it looks, some people think like it looks complicated, but it's just two little steps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I've really been liking this. I don't know, it just like adds like the perfect shade for my brows. And it just looks like so nice. It adds a little bit more volume. And this is a really nice shade for me. I'm in 4.5 if you guys are wondering. And then um, my under eye is like pretty dry. So I'm not going to add anything on the on like the lower lash because I do have like my dermatitis there. I'm not, I shouldn't even be putting on makeup, but it's fine. I want to set my face before I do my highlight. I'll add a little bit of highlight. I haven't been like too into being highlighted because I kind of like the matte look a little bit more these days. But... Let me go into this one. I still like my nose highlighted because it makes it look like slim. And I don't care if anyone else doesn't like my nose highlight. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then um, for my cheeks, mm, I don't want too much. So I'm going to add a really light layer. I think that's good. So that's pretty much it. And then for my lips, I'll do... This is ColourPop BFF2. So yeah, the biggest update, getting a new car pretty much it i want to go to fresno soon so for my lips i'm going to go into dose of colors um knock on wood and i'm just going to apply that into the center of my lips blend it out this is super nude so now that that's on i love a gloss so i'm going to go into thrive cosmetics this is their ashley gloss and it's like an iridescent purple but because i use it with nude i got like a nudie shade which i don't mind either and i love glossy lips but I could never wear a gloss lip with my boyfriend because because he always had the top down for his Porsche. So now that I'm going to have my own car, it's not a convertible so I can wear whatever lip color I want. It's like the little things in life, you know? So this is my completed look. I hope that you guys liked it. I will have everything linked in the description bar down below. It's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I've just been working a lot and my boyfriend's actually out to dinner, which is why I'm filming right now. 
um, he went to dinner with a few friends so I decided to just film something because I wanted you guys to have something so yeah I just like I don't know I really miss you guys and I feel like there just hasn't been a lot that I have to say because I feel like nowadays I kind of don't want to come off as complaining or I don't want to I don't want to like talk about things that are like controversial because I don't want anyone to be pissed off at me sorry my camera just like shut off um it just overheated that's why I hate this camera like the sony but anyway, um, if you guys have any video requests, leave them down below. I will film a video dyeing my hair because I want to dye it black. Um, or not black, but just like like regular black because I'm just so tired of like all this these different shades in my hair. Um, I just want to like go back to natural and I just like miss my all dark hair. So. so yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't like purchased anything new since I got this bag. Um, oh, I have been using my mini pochette though. <laughs> so sorry, I didn't include that in my what's in my bag, but... I am using um, also my Saint Laurent card holder and I really like this as well. I just have like some cash in here. When don't I ever like not have cash? I have like a straw. Nothing really new added to my bag, but I love it. Um, I do want to talk about this bag a little bit in like a vlog or like a different video just because I did get like a few scuffs on it already and you know, I should take care of my stuff a lot more, but whatever yeah so i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because like going into the new year i obviously want my channel to grow i want um i want us to be like a bigger youtube family and i'm very happy with the way that things are now but i feel like i would definitely try to kind of like censor myself a little bit just because i do know that my you know personality can come off a little bit strong but um i do want to make some changes to my channel i do want you guys to enjoy my content and not feel like i'm attacking you yeah so just like little changes here and there i've been seeing my therapist a lot more which is good because i don't feel the need to like vent to anybody else because i just don't like doing that anymore i never want to come off as complaining or as like bragging or being like a brat or anything so I definitely have turned to my therapist a lot more which is like more expensive but it's fine <laughs> without the judgment it's like worth it and it's completely normal to see a therapist like I think maybe 45% of LA probably sees a therapist because people in this city have problems like me <laughs> I'm still living life the same things are still things are really great and I'm very happy with everything so yeah I don't really have much to say I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't forget about you and I really do miss you guys a lot so I will try to film other videos for you guys so yeah if you guys have any requests for videos leave them in the comments down below and also comment down below one of your new year's resolutions because i would love to see what you guys have in store or like what changes you want to make in your life so yeah let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye